Okay, so we're gonna make a rubber mold and we are going to first turn on the toaster oven. And we're gonna let this warm up to the point where it's at about 350 degrees um, when we put the mold in there. So the first thing you wanna do is this sock here has telc in it. And you wanna telc the mold frame and you really should have a dust mass on because as it comes up this is bad to breathe and then what you want to do is you want to telt the inside of the mold frame here and that's going to sit on top then you're going to take your mold rubber and these are cut into round pieces that fit in here and you're going to telc one side of it and drop it down in there. And you're going to take your second piece, no telc goes on this one, and that's going to pop in just like that. And the next thing you have a sprue cone and a sprue rod. And so, probably been easier if I'd have done this this way, but there's a hole in here and that slides down. And then this is going to fit in just like that. You can kind of push it, get that down in there like that. And I like to take and have the sprue rod run out next to this post. So the next thing is you have your piece that you're going to be molding. And that's going to go in there and it's going to touch this sprue rod right here. You're gonna push it in. And what you can do is if you're not strong enough to push it in, sometimes if you have something like a dowel, that helps a lot. You can get it pushed in there. Okay, so the next thing, these are called mold locks. And so these need to be put in so that the two halves can be separated and they'll, it'll help position the two halves together. I think we're just going to go with two. You kind of want to just, you, sometimes you can go with four, but I think there's just not enough room up here. So, And then we're going to take something, you can either use your thumb, you can push those in, or you could take a dowel and push them in a little farther. Just like that. Now when you get to this point, now we're going to telc it. Because we want... We have a guy next door working on another room. And it gets kind of loud in here sometimes. Okay, so now we have this side telt, and what's going to happen is when we take this side and we're going to telt this, we put this on top, those two sides are not going to, these two pieces won't adhere together, and so when the mold is done, we'll be able to peel it apart. Now we have our last piece, that's going to go on top of there like that, and we're going to telc that, because we don't want that to stick to the top of here. That's going to get set down on top. want to do is we want to take and put these down so that they're even. Just hand tighten them. And the way you can kind of tell is if you look at the side, this should be even here. And it looks like this one needs to go down a little farther. 
and just tighten it until you can't tighten it anymore. Uh, but don't use a tool. You don't want it too tight. So I'd say at this point, this is done. And so now this is gonna go into the hot toaster oven. And it's gonna be in there for 50 minutes, five zero. Uh, and after 50 minutes, we'll take it out and then I'll show you how to take it apart. And that should do it. Okay, make sure you got a good glove on that'll handle the heat. Take the mold out. Oh, yeah, that's hot. And if you set it down on, on a big piece of metal, it'll draw the heat out. It'll cool faster. Okay, so we took it out of the toaster oven. Now we're going to take these off. And we got to pop it apart. Getting a flathead screwdriver works really well sometimes. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And you want to pull that out of there. And sometimes you can free this up here. You can pull the mold apart, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, guess not. And if you take that and put it back in there, you can pop that out. And you can use this little opening here. <laughs> like I say, it's supposed to pull apart. It will. It's just really tight. <laughs> this is good. I'm glad this happened because It'll help everybody who has had this happen before see that what needs to be done to get it to come apart. So. There we go. Ah, beautiful. Look at that. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to take a scalpel and we'll cut this away right here. In fact, we'll do that in a second here. Should we do that? We got our mold halves here. And so the next thing you want to do is take a scissors and cut around it. One half. That's two halves. Then you're going to want to have a scalpel. And you're going to have to cut away some of this. I probably should have put a new blade in there because this isn't that sharp but it'll work. If you kind of keep a one finger on the bench pin, uh, you're less likely to slip. Gives you some stability. And I would really take your time with this. 
I'm doing it a little faster simply because it's a video. All right. Then what you can do, this mold rubber is great. You can actually use a ball burr. Good to have nice smooth surfaces. So at this point, this is ready to be uh, injected. So we'll take this over to the wax injector. these plates put them on either side and that holds the mold nice and straight you want to push it together push it against the injector and wait about 10 seconds and then hold it together for a while as it drips on the floor. <laughs> and this, we're going to have to hold this for about uh, a minute and then we can set it down and then we'll wait uh, for a few minutes before we open it. Look at that. Perfect wax injection.